How you doing, Vinyl Community? Mr. Boulder here, hoping that you're all doing very well. Uh, right, collection update today. Not a huge amount to show. Uh, not bought loads recently, but have picked up some uh, bits and bobs that I'm really happy with. So, um, yeah, that's what I should be doing today. Before anything else, as always, thanks everyone who subscribes, comments, likes, all that good stuff. It's much appreciated. Right, so collection then. Uh, a couple of CDs and some records to show. Um, first up, a, um, a classic band from way back in the day. One of the um, originators of the whole rock and metal thing. Uh, Deep Purple's Whoosh, which has got to be one of the worst album titles you're ever likely to hear. Uh, this is pretty good stuff, actually. Um, I won't lie, I wasn't massively sort of looking to pick it up i was uh, strolling through the uh, local um supermarket not long ago and because it was in the charts it was there so i picked it up there's the cd not bad actually um yeah drop the weapon is really good second track um and there's a bunch of other stuff on there as well it's really good um a couple that stink a bit uh, particularly the um it's not the title track, but it's got the uh, the title of the album in it, Whoosh, and uh, yeah, pretty shit, to be honest. <laughs> Should have uh, not bothered with that. But this is pretty good. I do love a bit of Deep Purple. Ian Gillen, um, voice is still pretty good, to be fair. Um, you can't hit the highs that he once was, but, you know, he's been doing it for bloody 50 years now. You can't really knock him for it. Um, Ian Pace still a beast behind the drum kit. Roger Glover on bass. Lots of good stuff here. Um, not essential, but I'm glad I picked it up. The latest from Deep Purple. I mean, these guys have been going for 50 years now. Uh, you've got to respect that, haven't you? That is some doing. Well done to them. So that's Deep Purple. And only one more CD, and it's um, an album that I should have really picked up ages ago, but one of those ones just never got around to uh, picking up. And uh, it's here at last. And it is uh, Terrorizer and World Downfall. Yeah, that's right. It's a nice grindcore. Uh, 16 tracks, I think, of brutal grindcore. Yeah, this features David Vincent and Pete Sandoval from Orbit Angel. And Jesse Pintado, uh, rest in peace, on guitar. Not familiar with the singer. I can't remember his name off the top of my head. Pretty good stuff this, only listened to it a couple of times so far. But um, if you like a bit of Grindcore, it's right up your street. Yeah, quite a classic album, and why it's taking me this long to pick it up, I don't know. But it's in the collection now, and it's all good. Right, on to some records now. This first one I picked up um, probably quite a few weeks ago now. Whilst I was watching the um, the most recent live stream of uh, Contact and Blood, which features Cloudy Milder, uh, Mel Mickey, the Rock Scout Scott, and Mark G with a C. Um, Mark G showed this right towards the end and happened to mention it was very cheap on um, Amazon at the moment. And records on Amazon can be bloody expensive, uh, so to pick one up for twelve ninety nine is um, don't happen often. And again, this is a band I've been meaning to check out for a long time. Uh, familiar with the bass player, I'm probably going to butcher his name again. I'll try not to. Steve DiGiorgio, who was obviously in death for many years. I think he's, he's currently a testament at the moment. Um, Mark showed this album and said about how cheap it was. So I immediately went on to Amazon and ordered it. It's Sadus and Swallowed in Black. Really good stuff. Um, yeah, listen to some of this uh, earlier today, actually, um, uh, while I was in the bath on Spotify. Um, yeah, this is really good, actually. Uh, good thrash. There's some... Um, it almost sounds black metal in places, but I think that's just because of the raw production. Um, yeah, good thrash metal. Vocals, vocals remind me of... Um, Millet Petroza from Creator and Randy Rampage from Annihilator actually. There's the back. 
Yeah, this is good stuff. Not massively produced. Sounds fantastic. I saw the sticker on the front said uh, coloured vinyl and I was like, oh for God's sake, splattered even, sorry. However, it's bloody lovely. Look at that. Sometimes splatters, I can't stand them. Um, some of them don't look good, but I think this one looks really, really nice. Really pleased to finally grab uh, this and add Sages to the collection. It's been a long time coming. Um, but better late than never, right? Um, shitty paper sleeve. But I've got some poly lined in the sleeves. So I'll switch that over at some point soon. Really good stuff, this. Uh, yeah, thanks for the heads up, Mark. I uh, was completely unaware. Thank you very much. You've seen it already in CD format, and here it is. Yeah, Terrorizer as well, Downfall again. Um, got this from uh, eBay, but it actually came from the Earache. Um, if you're watching this video around about the time it's coming out, Earache's got a really good uh, sale on at the moment, so head over there and pick yourself up some bargains. There's the back. Full dynamic range version. Apparently it means it sounds really, really good. Superior to others. Um, it does sound good, but I'm not sure it's uh, a massive improvement on any other sort of pressing that you'll get. Nice classic earache label there. Good old black vinyl as far as I'm concerned. Again, this wasn't that expensive. About £15. You know, records these days can be bloody expensive. So a good price for this. One thing I really like about Earache is that they don't sod around with unnecessary 2LP sets. Um, I think I've only ever bought one record from Earache that was a 2LP set, and that was Morbid Angels, Formers, Fatal to the Flesh. The rest of the time, they don't sod around. One LP, you know, five, six songs per side, it's all good. I'm kind of thinking that a lot of this 2LP stuff these days is a load of nonsense. That it's just a, a way of charging you more money. Um, but there we are. Is what is. But yeah, that terrorises terrorises well downfall again. I'm next is a death metal classic. Another album that I've been looking to pick up for a long time. Unfortunately, it's been reissued because I've tried to get uh, original copies of this in the past. Couple of times it's popped up on eBay and I've bid on it, but I've been out bid because it just goes for crazy money, you know, close to a hundred pounds. Um, but a reissue's been done, and thank God for it. It's some homegrown death metal from Telford here in the UK, and it's Cancers to the Gory End. Um, one of those albums that's got a reputation for being a classic. Every now and then you pick up an album that's got to be a reputation for being a classic. And then it doesn't quite live up to the hype. Not the case here. This is outstanding stuff. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, John Walker, Carl Stokes, and Ian Buchanan. Brilliant stuff. Such a shame it's taken me so long to pick this up. A nice recent reissue. There's the back. And a nice marbled vinyl. Yeah, red vinyl with some black sort of uh, marble in it. Looks really nice. Plays nice. Sounds great. Good packaging. Fully armed in the sleeve. It's always what you're after. And this is just brilliant. Such a brutal album. I absolutely love it. Yeah, Bloodbath, Cancer Fucking Cancer, Into the Acid, fantastic song. The title tracks were great. Die Die, Body Count. Brilliant stuff. It's just uh, taking me so long to grab this, and finally, thankfully, someone's reissued it. Because it's one of those albums where originals just cost so much bloody money. And if I can get an original, I'd happily pick one up. But it's got to be a decent price, and no matter how much I want an album, I'm not spending close to £100 on one single record. Um, yeah, this is the same people who reissued the um, Death Shower Rise 
that uh, I picked up a couple of months ago. They finally reissued this. Really glad they did. Great piece. Really glad to have it in the collection at long last. This next one, I need to thank uh, Brendan Von Doom because I was completely unaware of this reissue until um, I was at work a couple of weeks ago and I was watching one of his videos in my lunch break. This is an album by a fantastic thrash metal band and um, got the CD when it first came out donkeys years ago. Never picked up the record. Did bid on it a while ago back on eBay. Got out bid because it was pretty rare then. Been reissued now. And I'm really glad it has. This might actually be my favourite band uh, album from this band. It's Exodus's Tempo of the Damned. This is an absolute amazing album. There's the back. Yeah, this was Testament back after a 12 year break. Uh, the last album for this being a uh, 1992's Force of Habit. Such, such good stuff. I've not even uh, opened this up yet, it's still sealed. Um, two LP set on black vinyl. Track two, War is My Shepherd. Probably my favourite Exodus song. Definitely in uh, my list of favourite thrash metal songs. But there's so much good stuff on show here. Scar Spangled Banner, Blacklist. Shroud of Urine, Forward March. Car the Herd, Seal with a Fist. Title track. And there's a really good cover of ACDC's um, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheek on this. It's just amazing. I can't recommend you pick this up enough. If you haven't heard it, if you haven't got it, you've got to check it out. Uh, Rick Huno and uh, Gary Holton guitars. Uh, Steve Setra is on vocals. Jack Gibson on bass and Tom Hunting on drums. Just a beast of a drummer. Musically, it's great. Uh, Zetra sounds fantastic. Packed front to back with great songs. An absolute killer album you've got to get it if you haven't got it it's so so good um so again thank you brendan for uh showing this because i was completely unaware this had been reissued so thanks very much buddy now to thank mark g with a c for uh pointing me in the direction of these guys now unlike Savus, for some reason this was a band i'd simply never heard of and I don't really understand it because they went on, um, the members went on to be in uh, other bands such as Dismember and Carcass. So I don't really know how it passed me by, but it did. This is Carnage and Dark Recollections from I think 1990. Yeah, 1990. Um, can't say too much about it because I've made this to it a couple of times, but I like what I'm hearing. If you like Dismember, if you like Entombed. If you like old school Swedish death metal, then uh, this is where it's at. That classic HM2 guitar sound, which is really, really great. Absolutely love it. Deep guttural vocals. Old school death metal done the right way. Fantastic stuff. Thanks, Mark. Because, uh, yeah, for some reason, I was just completely unaware of this band. Um, a nice hole plug in the collection at last. And, uh, yeah, fantastic stuff. Up next is uh, the first 10-inch record I've bought since about 1996. It's from UK gore grind legends, death metal legends, Carcass. And this is their Despicable EP. This has only been out a couple of weeks. I'm not going to lie to you. First listen, I was like, yes, yeah, okay. Second listen, yeah, it's okay. The third or fourth listen, the magic really started to come out of the speakers, and I'm really, really digging it now. So I've ordered the CD as well. That's not here yet. But this is good stuff. It's not going to knock you out by any stretch of your imagination. But it's a nice little pickup. Black vinyl, 10 inch. Always love me some carcass. Um... Once again, Earache, they're um, the reissuing a lot of old Carcass albums. I've placed some orders. So if you're after some Carcass on vinyl, again, head on over to Earache store. They're not paying me to say this, I'm just saying it because uh, it's good to give people the heads up if you're not aware of uh, the pre orders that are out there. But this is good. Nice little four track EP. 
a little sample before the album drops. I'm um, not sure when it's out, but um, probably a couple of months yet. But a nice piece to add to the collection. Some, uh, some carcasses always good as far as I'm concerned. Up next, an absolute classic uh, from the grunge era. Once again, thank you to Brendan because it was he who showed this and I was completely unaware it had been reissued. Another album that is incredibly hard to get hold of, an original copy. They cost serious money. Last one I um, bid on went for nearly 100 quid. And uh, again, I'm not paying that kind of price. But a nice reissue here of the debut of Alice in Chains' facelift. For me, the best, out, uh, best band to come out of Seattle in the early 90s. I like all those old school um, grunge heavy hitters, you know, Nirvana, Soundgarden, Pearl Jam, Stone Temple Pilots. They're all fantastic. Alice in Chains is my favourite though. Uh, two LP set. Not gatefold though, just a single cover. Some really nice pr printed inner sleeves with photos and lyrics on. And they're just black vinyl. Always good. But this is a fantastic album. I mean, they went on to do better than this. The follow up Dirt is outstanding. One of my favourite albums ever. But there's still tons of good stuff on this. We Day Young, Man in the Box, Sea of Sorrow, Bleed the Freak, Love Hate Love. It Ain't Like That, Sunshine, Confusion. I know something about you. Thanks, Brendan. I was completely unaware this had been reissued. Um, a great, great album. And yeah, it's one that's been missing for a long time. Tried to pick up an original, but just wasn't going to pay the prices. And this uh, reissue does the job nicely. Sounds fantastic. From 1990, Alice in Chains' debut, Facelift. Such a great band. Those um, vocal harmonies between Lane Staley and Jerry Cantrell are just uh, irresistible. Just can't get enough of them. Sean Kinney on drums and the late Mike Starr on bass. Rest in peace, Mike. And rest in peace, Lane, obviously. Alice in Chains' Facelift from 1990. Fantastic. And that's all for today. Cheers, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Um, as per usual, get in touch, let me know what you think. Have you picked any of these up recently? Were you aware of any of these reissues? Um, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll uh, catch up with you next time. I'm going to be doing a video um, that's doing the rounds quite a bit at the moment. The um, Your most expensive albums according to Discogs. Uh, I've seen uh, Cloudy do it recently and uh, Metal Mickey. And uh, just today I watched Brendan's. So I'm going to be doing that soon myself. Right, guys, I will catch you soon again. Cheers for watching and look after yourselves. Take care. Bye.